Welcome back, everybody. So, let's see. Last episode, we were working on... Oh, yeah, my cactus farm. And it's still not turned green. Well, that takes longer than I thought. I thought it would patina a lot quicker. I mean, there are more, I think. It's hard to tell. It hasn't really been that long, so... Yeah, it's not been long. I've not even got two stacks. Of course, two stacks is probably all I actually need. But, never mind that. So today, we are going to be way up here. I figured I would keep working on this area. And this whole hill is basically residential. I'm keeping the industrial farm stuff down lower where there's not much of a view. And I want... You know, all the houses up here where they get a nice view of the area. They can look across and see everything all in the ocean. I guess icy, icy waters, not an ocean. There's one lone tree on top of a hill over there. Which you would think would be interesting, but there's probably nothing over there except for mobs. So let's head over here. So this is all going to be housing. So I want to put in a few houses here. I thought this house on the corner, the houses can be two stories because we're not going to block the view. So that's good. So I'm going to have a two story house here. And this is going to be the yard for the house. I thought this would be a nice, like a vegetable garden or something over here. And Maybe the house, and yeah, there's more of a garden. So this house is going to have a nice attached garden onto it. And then there'll be a hedgerow, and then another house over here. And this house could have a garden in that area, and then we could have a house here with a garden over there. So we'd have house, 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 house. So this probably four houses in this corner over there. And then I can add some more houses around here. I need something bigger over there, probably. And I can add, definitely add houses here because this has got the best view. I mean, look at that view. You can see everything down there. You can see everything way out there. And the houses below are not going to be tall enough to get in the way. Because they can be two stories and you still see over all of them. I still don't know what I'm going to put there. I have a whole list. I've got a, a sheet of paper. In my handy, my little fists right here, uh, which has a lot of uh, stores and stuff. But I think most of these are going to go over on that side. Because I don't know if you remember, but let's, uh, we can hop over. We got time. We have this whole area over here, which still needs to be filled out. So this is going to have a... a you know, kind of a nice road and a mountain, a little square. And this is where like the library and the bank and all that kind of stuff is going to go over here. Because I got a lot of room over here to work with. But we are way over there. So let's go, let me go gather some supplies. And we will get started on the house. So let's see. I want to have enough room. To put a gate over here so you can get to the yard from the front as well as uh, from inside the house. Let's push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that nine? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we'll do that. And this can go all the way to the back. That's good. And then let's see out front. Let's do, well, actually on the inside, this is going to be a small house, isn't it? Oops, I forgot. I forgot my water bucket, I think. Yep, I forgot my water bucket. I need to turn all this into 
concrete because I want that nice smooth look to it. I don't want the floor to be all kind of soft and textured. I want it to be dark like that. So it's going to be a small house, but I guess you are in a good uh, good neighborhood. So and it's got a big yard. So what other house comes with a big yard like that? Just adding in a little bit of accents on the side. I kind of have an idea how this is going to look in my head, but as usual, I have not. I've not gone ahead and planned any of this out. One of these days, if I start planning things out though, who, who knows what's gonna happen. It's more exciting if you don't know where you're going or what you're gonna do. Plus I just sort of let it go with the flow. A couple here, we're gonna have yeah, like a door here, and that'll go into the garden. So this will be like, you come in here, you're going to have a kitchen, probably a kitchen and a living room. It's going to be more of an open concept, which means I can probably do stairs up here. Um, do I have, I don't have anything for stairs. I mean, I've got these deep slate stairs, but I don't want the, that's going to be the roof. Because I'm going to kind of tie the foundation in with the roof. Because they're the same block. And then we'll still want to have, well, I want to have some lighting in here, I think. Because when I go to get my water bucket, I come back, I don't want to have, a, I don't want to have to deal with mobs and stuff. There. Oh, come on. Exactly where I don't want to put it. What is he doing down there? I thought I had that all lit up. So I guess mobs can spawn on snow. It must be it. I, I don't realize I didn't realize they could spawn on snow. So let's take care of him. I need to get some sleep anyhow, and I need to get the water bucket for this and something for stairs. Oh dang it. I was going to do this dramatic swoop and catch him off guard and chop him while I was falling out of the sky, but that didn't work. That was kind of a kind of a tragic face plant, if anything. Yeah, that must be it. So they must, the snow must not stop them from spawning. As you can see, there's spawnable areas, and this is where he came from. I think he came from this exact one right there. So I believe I saw him spawn in. But yeah, so it is spawnable. It's just uh, covered up with snow, which makes it uh, kind of deceptive because you think, oh, nothing's going to spawn because there's snow there. I guess they don't get a uh, cold feet, so. so let's head on up this way. So we just need to convert all this over. So this is, I think maybe that. Do I have any more? I don't have any more of that crimson. We'll do this. 
I mean, it hides the blocks or neat there, but nice little porch. And almost did it. Okay. And like here. Now yeah, we can do that. And that takes us up to the second floor. Ouch. There. So I mean I could even put a window in. Like here. And then maybe another window here. Into for the kitchen. Yeah, so the kitchen can be in this corner here. Dining area over there. We got a nice big open concept house here. You know, and I've seen them have small houses before. Oh, they do have a have this already there there I don't know if I want the dark this uh, darker concrete up here for the floor and I think I do want this we're going to do this chiseled here again Polish, got the polish I'll do up twice. I think I only did uh, one. No, that's no, that's what I did. Okay. Somehow I was thinking I only got one in the corner, but that wouldn't have worked because you wouldn't have got that funny L shape there. There. Just drag this across here. I believe I'm going to do a balcony off the top. Since I'm so high up, I can get a nice balcony going out there. Because this will be where the bedrooms and stuff are up here. I guess this is more almost like a little condo type. You know, one of those two-story houses. That, uh, Expensive ones you sell for yuppies, I guess. So we're there in very good neighborhoods, overly priced, very expensive. Only rich up and coming uh, business people can afford them. I mean, if you're going to live next to that gigantic mansion, you're going to expect to pay high prices. So we just need a floor through here. I think I'm going to put slabs up there for the floor at that level. And then this, yeah, so this will go up. Yeah, the floor will be there. Yeah, that'll work fine. And then I can do a balcony out that side. I don't really need any walls in here. I had, I had some dark oak I was going to use for walls, but I don't really need any on the first floor because it's such a, open concept you know that modern style where they got you know you go in the front door and you can see the whole house because people don't want walls to hide behind anymore which is good if you want to if you're you know socializing you have people over you want to be able to talk to them while you're working in the kitchen that would work fine so let's see what kind of block do i want to use 
You can tell I have not planned this out because I don't know what to use for the floor. Some kind of wood. Some kind of wood block. So let me let me figure that out and we can uh we can put our floor in here. I gotta keep running back to my uh, shop over here. But at least all my stuff is in uh, one area. Beats having chests scattered all over town. So I've got this nice ceiling in here, which is also a floor. So I just need to put the roof on. Then we can start working on the inside. So like I said, I'm going to try and tie the roof in to the highlights, the, the deep slate tile and stuff I've got, you know, on the floor and then a couple of these highlights here. So tie all those uh, colors together. And to do that, I'm putting a roof on it. So I'm just going to do this. It's going to be a, just a normal peaked roof. Ooh, let's go here. So I'm just going to mix a variety of these different types of uh, blocks in here. And hopefully it'll look pretty good once I'm done. And then on the end, I've got some cobbled. So kind of really put a contrast in there. So, so this will be here. I'm just sort of trying to figure out where my center is. There. There. So it'll look like that. So the roof will peak up like this on either side. And then in here, we're going to have a ceiling, kind of a drop ceiling in here. I think it's, I don't want to, let's do this. If I put it there, it's going to be a little too low. So I think I'm going to do like this. So nothing will spawn in the attic because we are a bottom slab here. And it'll give us extra headroom on the second floor. I just need to get rid of these. And it's snowing, of course. So we got that. Got this. So this will be the second floor all completed with the, I mean, the ceiling at least. Uh, no real attic. I don't even know if I'm going to make an attic space anywhere you can get up to the attic. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then, oh, let's get the layout. So this is going to be, I am going to separate this off just a little bit. So this will be the kitchen over here. And we'll have some uh, seating area over in this corner. Maybe a little dining area over in that corner there. So that's the first floor. And then the second floor. This is like a hallway. Uh, I'll put trap doors here along the edge so you don't fall down the stairs. And then we're going to have two small bedrooms. Actually, I think we'll do this. Yeah, so we'll have two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, like that. So two really, two really, really small rooms. Or should I just make one big, one big room? Yeah, I could just make one gigantic room up here. So it's a single bedroom. So this is a one bedroom, one bath. 
And I think the bathroom would be best served if we're up here in this corner here. Yeah, so this could actually be a wall right there. So you come up. Well, you don't need a wall if this is a... Yeah, you don't need the wall then. All I need to do is put a bathroom in here. And a bathroom could be... That could be the bathroom right there. Yeah, so you got a bathroom here and then the bedroom area over here. And then we'll have a walkout to a balcony. So we'll have our balcony out this way. Like this. And I'm going to have to make more slabs. I will have to put a yeah, support here because that looks a little dicey right there. But once I put supports in there, it'll look normal. Put a rail up top and we'll have our balcony. But I think that's all I'm going to do for today. When I in, the, in between episodes, I will put the roof on and stuff. And then when we come back, I'll be ready to... Uh, start decorating the interior so we'll be able to do the first floor second floor probably finish everything up in the next episode so thanks for watching uh, have a great day everybody and i'll see you later bye bye